Today I rendezvous on the red carpet at the premiere of My Father's War in Cedar Square, Four Ways. Peter Lombardi and Craig Gardner, together with some of South Africa's top actors, take us on a journey that deals with the understanding of people's battles at different times and shows us how forgiveness creates common ground. We hope this will appeal to a multi-audience uh, spectrum. Number one, we want to appeal to a broad South African audience and to an international audience because it's a father-son relationship drama. So we hope that that resonates to viewers who have relationship issues anywhere. Then the secondary audience, but equally important, are people who were affected by the war, who were in the war, whose husbands, brothers, sons were in the war, veterans of the war. That's, that's a very important audience for us because we feel that this movie will hopefully open a conversation about the war and will hopefully help facilitate some emotional healing for people who took part in it. There's a lot of wars I think all of us have that, that you still need to fight and uh, I have went through a recent uh, personal experience that, that, um, that made me think about honesty and um, I learned a big thing through that. I had a war with that and, and now it's, you know, it, it needed to get very raw and needed to be honest with myself and honest with the people around me and today I'm so glad and blessed to, to be honest with myself and, and the people in my life. So, so your honesty is a big, big war I fought. Now from this whole experience, what will you remember the most? Oh, so many, so many. Working with Stian Bum, Erika, I mean there's working with Craig, the helicopter, that was, that's probably the one. Stian, yeah, he's okay, you know. <laughs> no, joking. No, the helicopter was insane. It was one of the best experiences in my life. And um, yeah, it was just crazy. It was, that's one thing I will never forget. What would you say is David fighting for in my father's war? I think. I think David is fighting for for a relationship with his son, to understand him. There's a, there's a part where he says, please just open his heart, just show him my heart. And I think that's what David really wants. He wants his son to understand him, he wants to understand his son. So yeah, that's the war they're fighting. Yeah. Oh. And what would you say is the message of the film? There's, that, that you shouldn't judge a book by its cover maybe, that you should have more patience, um, uh, that you should have a better understanding for people that you don't know. Yeah. You play the role of Karina, the mother. What do you think this film will mean for South Africans? Sure, that's a big question. Um, as I was saying earlier, like I think, I think there's a universal theme, which is mother-daughter relationships and father-son relationships, which are just always important. Like it doesn't matter who you are. So there's that, and I also think that, you know, the Angola War came and went, and it happened a really, really long time ago. But there's we're surrounded by wars, you know, at the moment, like yeah. unfortunately, and and luckily we know about it through social media or whatever. But I think it, it talks about the effects of war and how it affects not only the individual that's part of it, but also the individuals that wait at home and that kind of go, well, where have you been, Dad? And like all of that, you know. So I think it's, I think it's important to top the themes because it hasn't a lot of it hasn't been. Um, exposed, uh, typically in South African form, and I think some of it is just really universal. Now, how do you think we can motivate South Africans to be stronger father figures? It's to, it's to understand the role and the importance of a father in a family, because we, we, I don't think we understand that, or if, if we do, we don't appreciate it enough, because you know, if a, a family that is only one parent headed, it's not, it's not stable enough for the kids, especially because they, they seek they seek affirmation outside because that part, that part is not feel fulfilled and they need that fulfillment. So it's very important to, to have a unit that is understood and understood by, by both parties to say this is a unit for them, not for us, but for them. I mean, having gone through the war and also spending a lot of time in special forces, I, um, I realized today that there are so many people that don't really know what happened with the war. It's a part of history, because of politics, kind of like swept under the carpet and let's forget about it but you know that's not the right thing to do wars are very important that we actually remember what happened you recognize the people that were fighting on both sides because you know wars are often sort of created by circumstances outside of the average person's control but anyway um, you know what why I believe that it's important to kind of document 
the wars and these things is because we can learn from um, you know, our past and hopefully avoid these things in the future.